Okay, so this is the motor on ramp. We have three types of motors. We have two wire motors. These are called DC motors. You find these in toy cars. Then we have the servo motors. You find these the most in um, remote controlled vehicles. These plug into the receiver directly, but we're hooking them up to the Arduino. And then you find these servo motors and you find these in inkjet printers, fax machines. So stepper motors have a lot of wires. This one has four, um, but there's five, six, seven, eight. It just keeps going. They get bigger and bigger and more expensive. These guys basically have some electronics built into them. They're, they're, you need to think of them as a little tiny stepper motor with some electronics built into them. So when you're going through the lab, two wires means it's DC, three wires means it's servo, four more means that it's stepper. Now when you grab motors, always grab them by this metal case right here. Don't let, don't grab them by these wires and swing them because they'll just break off immediately. And sometimes these tabs break off back into the motor and the motor becomes useless. We built these boards here to hold the motor in place so that it doesn't start jumping around and moving when you actually get it to work. Um, the bigger motors are going to have wires that go into this, this terminal connector right here. So you tighten these down in here and then you run wires from here into the Arduino or the motor controller circuit. So our first motor, the easiest one, is the servo. That's the three-wire motor. Two of these wires are power. So you can see the darkest one right here, the brown one, is going to ground and then the red one right here is going to five volts. And then there's usually another color like orange or yellow. And it looks like this, I hooked up to a yellow wire and it goes to a pulse width modulation pin, um, pin number nine, using the servo example program I can find underneath file examples inside of our Arduino IDE. And then this is a video right here showing it working. There are two ways to kill an Arduino with a DC motor. One is if you've got it hooked up to the Arduino and it's getting its power through the USB cable and you grab the spinning spindle and try to squeeze it really hard and stop it from spinning, that can kill the Arduino. The second way to kill an Arduino is to hook it up to one of the analog or digital pins. So you hook up one end of the motor to ground and the other to one of these analog or digital pins and you try to blink that pin like with the blink program thinking that when the LED goes on the motor should spin when the LED goes off the motor should stop. The trouble is that the Amtel CPU on the Arduino is not that strong. It, it, it will commit suicide trying to get the motor to spin. Here's a video of the dangerous thing and it dying temporarily. Okay, you can see the pin 13 is blinking fine. And now I'm going to attach this to pin 13 and you can see it, it dies. Pin 13 stops blinking. So I'm going to pull it back out and it starts blinking again. So to protect the Arduino, People buy what are called motor shields. This um, motor shield that you see pictured here is about $9. And we have some in the lab that are $70. So this is something that can get very, very expensive. The chip right here, this little chip right here is the one that is causing the motors to go back and forth, you know, forwards and backwards and turn this motor on and turn this motor off. And if these motors get too big or they, you squeeze the pins on them, you can cause now this chip to burn up rather than the Amtel CPU here to burn up. So this is a link to that motor shield. And then when you click on that link, you can find their drivers. So this is really a lesson in how to install a driver and get it into the examples 
menu option on the Arduino IDE. So the first thing you do is you download the zip. That red circle should be over this word, download zip. And when you finish downloading the zip, you click right here. You click on the, the downloaded file. And then you're going to be asked to extract the files to this folder. So you click on extract and you say yes, please extract. And then you're going to see a folder right here. And you keep clicking on that folder. There's folders inside of folders. And until you see a license and a readme file. Then what you want to do is delete this license and readme file and rename this folder P-O-L-O-L-U. There should be an L right here. And if you don't do this, if you don't drill down folders inside of folders until you see a folder with license and readme, you're going to install the, the library right here inside the Arduino software and it's going to come up with this error message. So keep clicking and opening folders until you see license and readme. And delete these two and rename that P-O-L-O-L-U. You know, right there. And then grab this folder that you created and drag it to this libraries folder. So go to your student, open up my documents, get into the Arduino libraries folder and drag it there like this. Then it should pop up right here when you go to the uh, Arduino IDE and click on file and examples and you should see this right here. If you do it right. And there should be just one example program inside of it. So when you send this program to the Arduino, the DC motor should spin, and here's a video of it. Okay, so we've got two out of the three motors working. Our fourth motor is the stepper motor, and it has four wires. They're yellow, red, brown, and black. So these are the stepper motor wires. These are the, this is the cable coming out of the stepper motor. We put a header on it. I don't know if the order of these wires is exactly the same. Don't trust that. These are the colors of the wires that I ran from the breadboard to the Arduino, black, green, blue, and white. So the black was connected to the brown, green, you know, you can see it. And then this is 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. So the motor shield here can drive two motors or can drive a four-wire stepper motor. If we're going to drive a six-wire, eight-wire stepper motor, we've got to have more uh, a bigger motor shield. So this is about as big a stepper motor as this can this this smaller motor shield can drive. Now the good news is that if you get these wires in the wrong place and try to turn it on, you're not going to hurt anything. It just won't work. So move the wires around. You're going to find that there's they come in pairs. So this green and black pair drive one winding on the stepper motor and the blue and the white or another pair and then you need to once you find the pairs and you flip the pairs back and forth so you can just do a trial and error and guess until it works now what software do you send to the Arduino well there should be installed on your computer these this stepper folder which contains some example programs for another motor shield not the one we're working with so if we click on these we've got to change it'll say start off saying 8 9 10 and 11 you got to change that to 7 8 9 10 here and then these programs all work with this smaller cheaper motor shield and here's the video of that This is about seven degrees per step. That's it.